All right. Tales of Tung Kwan. Here we go. Screen may flash a couple times on your end. Here we go. All right, there we go. We'll go ahead and start the single player campaign here. I'll go ahead and proceed. All right, so I've already loaded up the campaign. As with all the new Emperor campaigns, I have not played this campaign uh, at all, just enough to uh, install it, so all of this is going to be a first time run through for me. It's custom campaigns, here we go. The Tale of Tung Kwan. All right. 184 of the Common Era. It seems that the Han Dynasty travels on a path of irreversible decline. You speak of only this in whispers with your fellow Han military officers at Lui Lang. What can be done? Your friend, the brilliant and charismatic officer named uh, Cao Cao, has confided in you his great dream of a new future. He has asked you to join him in fulfilling this dream, and you have agreed. Your destiny with him will now unfold at a place named Tong Quan. Tong Pass. All right, let's go ahead and proceed. All right, a pass of peace and prosperity. We need a temple complex built, a population of 2,000, five trading partners, and 20 racks of weapons in a year. So, back to 184 of the Common Era. The Han court has appointed you to lead an expedition to Tong Quan, or Tong Pass, to build a town named Tan Zhao. Tong Quan is a mountainous region located at the midpoint between the great cities of Chang'ang and Luoyang. Again, my Chinese pronunciation is terrible, so my mistake if I mispronounce anything here. It sits strategically at an intersection of the Yellow and Wei rivers. The mountain roads in Tong Quan are in need of repairs, but many traders and pilgrims still use them. This is why the Han court feels it would be a perfect location to build a temple complex and a trade hub. Alright, makes sense, hence the trading. As you prepare to leave for your journey west, your friend Cao Cao appears. A group called the Yellow Turbans, oh, you've heard of those guys before, have started a rebellion in G, he says. I have been ordered to lead troops to crush them. Before I depart, I will bring a secret gift to your treasury at Ta Tan Zhao. Use it to produce weapons, as I foresee a day when they will ne be needed there. Invest it wisely, and one day I will ask for its return. Work hard, brother, and remember our shared dreams. All right, so... Looks like we're going to get some cash as a gift, but uh, someone's going to come asking for that cash at a later point in time. So, I'm going to set the difficulty to normal. Let's go ahead and take a look at the city. I'm just going to turn the speed down here to 10% while we take a look around. Alright, so we've got a fairly large map here. As described in the original piece, we've got a lot of broken roads. Um... A lot of just ruins. Oh, we got some pandas on the map. We've got some bamboo. We've got a fairly large river here. And it looks like we can fish, which is good. Enormous size, temperate climate. All right, we've also got Tim on the line here. He's going to be helping us through here. We've got some pheasants, so it looks like we can also hunt. Uh, we've got some predators, too. We've got salamanders on the map. More salamanders, more pheasant, more river, fair amount of river. Unlike some of the other maps that we've been seeing, uh, I am very happy to see a lot more grass. So a little bit better farming should produce some better yields. Let's see what else we've got. I definitely noticed the tiered structure of the landscape. We've got a lot of these different mesas and plateaus. Ooh, we've even got some copper ore deposits. Uh, but no mint, so we're not going to be able to use that, at least yet. Looks like over here we've got some iron ore deposits, so we will be able to smelt some weapons. Although, getting down in there is going to be a bit tricky. We're going to have to put our steel furnaces around the outside. This seems to be really the only empty land. Otherwise, we've got a good water table underneath, so... Alright, not too shabby. I think the first thing is going to be getting everything set up. What can we do from a... Ooh, from a farming. We've got cabbage, wheat, and then we can also get uh, pheasant and fish. So four types of food. So that's really good right off the bat. A little bit of an easier setup. Uh, not a lot of cash to start with, though. Only 8,500. So we are going to have to be very careful about that. Let's go ahead and start cleaning up this road here. I kind of want to start my residential housing development down here. 
This is, seems to be a nice kind of semi-flat-ish part that I think we can start to build on. I'm not exactly sure where the immigrants are going to come in from, but given that this road leads off the map, I've got a, a good idea that hopefully this is one path. Alright, so let's clear some of these trees and start setting up our first housing development. We don't need any fancy homes yet, but in the introduction it did talk about a potential need for weapons, so I've got a feeling if we're going to need more swords, and it looks like we can produce swords, crossbows, and chariots, uh, we may have a need for some fancier housing in the subsequent chapter, so let's keep that in mind. I'm going to start by building a common market square here and kind of building everything based off that. Let's get a couple houses in here so that we can uh, get everybody going. I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. I'm going to actually start putting in fancy roads. Ooh, notice the stone quarry at the bottom by the entry point. Ah, there is a stone quarry here. Which means we should be able to get a stoneworks. Ah, okay. If I flip the camera around here, we should be able to see it a bit better. There it is, right up there, right on the edge of the map. But as I was saying, I wanted to try something different. I want to try uh, using some improved roads. That way we can uh, improve the aesthetics right away from the start. It's not something I've typically done in my games before, uh, particularly with common housing, but I kind of wanted to give it a shot here just to see how it works. All right. We'll fill that in with some houses there. Alright, let's see. Where are folks coming in from? Okay. Nothing up there. Nothing up there. Nothing here. Hmm... Oh, you know why? Huh. This would be helpful. How about we actually turn the uh, game speed up to something a little bit more respectable? There we go. There they come. Alright. Let's get a... Uh... The good news is if we use these improved roads, we don't necessarily need to leave a ton of room for extra gardens on the backside. So that should help save us some space. I'm actually going to start working on another row of houses here. I'm going to leave this crossroads uh, for my tax office. We'll cap this off here with a... Actually, I'll just cap it right there with a... Roadblock. I'll just create a very simple loop here. There we go. We've got folks coming on in. Leave that spot open for the tax office. We'll finish improving that side of the road in just a moment. Alright, that's enough to get us started, I think. Maybe we'll put in a uh, watchtower. Oh, trade has opened up. All right. Could be beneficial for the both of us. That's a good sign. All right. So we've got some unemployment, which isn't a bad thing. All right. We've hit 100 people. We're going to have to be careful about these roads, though, because they're not really connected very well, especially with all of these kind of ruins. So let's kind of clean this up a bit. i got to be careful about how much money I spend, though we can get taxes. Now, trade has opened up, so we need to figure out what they want to trade for. Let's see. They need paper and stone. Ah, excellent. So we could start with a stone works. That would be helpful. They produce lacquerware and raw silk. All right, not a bad deal. 
Um, foreign emissary permits. Ooh, oh, here's that cash infusion that we read about in the beginning. 10,000 cash, please accept it. Absolutely. Alright, so I'm up to here. Maybe I can put my seat of government on this little plateau here. That might not be a bad idea. Start with an administrative city. That should be a contiguous road. So while my housing development goes here, I'll push it farther here to the west. We got a lot of unemployment, though. We need to start building. Let's do this. Let's get our administrative city settled. That'll take care of some of the unemployment to start with and keep people from getting too angry. All right, let's fill that hall with bureaucrats. All right, and the next we should probably start building some food infrastructure. Oh, yes, we could put a mint up there, too. Right next to those copper ore deposits. All right, there. Now that we've got our administrative city planted, we can start minting copper. That'll help us with our monetary policy. All right. Next thing I want to work on here is just finding a spot for the mill and keeping it relatively close by so that we can uh, work with our market square. In fact, this road might be helpful to keep in mind. I don't want anyone walking onto it yet, but we can use that to shorten the the space needed to get to the mill. And in fact, this is probably a good spot to put the mill. So let's do this. Let's pop a mill right here. Uh-oh. Yeah, I was worried about this. We may need some inspector's towers on this side. Right, in fact, I'm going to put an inspector tower up here so that we don't lose that. Let's get a warehouse in the city. All right. Oh, great. Well, that clearly wasn't up to code. That's what happens when you grow too big too fast. We're going to have to keep an eye on that, but for right now, let's focus on trade and making sure that our treasury does not run dry. We're going to need to have a trading station. Can we not? No, nope, no. Nope. Let's do this. Can we put a ferry in there? That way we can cross that bridge. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can put a trading station in. Probably around here would be a good spot. And we could definitely put one in there, so let's focus on connecting this road next. Alright, let's fix our housing development here that has suffered greatly. Oh, come on, inspectors. Don't let the watchtower burn down. Just check our hazards there, just to make sure we don't have anything else. I think the two inspectors' towers should help. These need bland food, which is just fine. We'll get to work on that. First, let's make sure that I can get this road all the way down. Let's spin this around here a bit, I think. Keep the inspector up there. Alright. Continue this road down to the coast. I need 
take care of a couple trees here, so we've got a somewhat contiguous road. Somewhat being a key term here. Almost. Alright, let's get that road in. Perfect. Alright, so now we're good up to there. Let's go ahead and add in a trading quay. Put the inspector's tower in there just to keep it upright. Alright, so we can sell stone and paper. Looks like we have some workers that are needed. Thankfully we can continue to add here. A little bit more over there. Now we will have to work on some food. For right now, I just want to make sure we've got a little bit of industry set up. Try to keep the Feng Shui going. No guarantees. Alright, and we will definitely sell stone. Alright, that way we've got that rolling. Now, we should get to a point, once these houses settle in, we'll have some unemployment. We can start working on agriculture next, which... Yeah, let's see, if we want our housing, probably to follow along this ridge and then flow down in here. Should be plenty of space. Let's work on this little patch of land here. We got some flat area. We can turn this into farming. Ooh, one thing I should remember is that Grand the Temple Complex is going to be big. Uh, we'll need a. F mm. We're going to have to find a spot to plunk that down, and I don't want to use all of my flat land, although I've got some space up here. Alright, I think I can fit it in there. Alright, as long as I don't build in this corner, I think I can build my temple complex. I was getting worried about that. I was like, wait a minute, that's a pretty big monument. Alright, anyway, back to this spot down here. Let's work on building some food. Employees needed. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Let's get a big old cabbage field going. I don't necessarily need that road there, per se. down this way here. Okay, let's do a wheat field. Get one of each going. Oh no, now what's going on? Oh, we still need another inspector's tower around here. Yep. Alright. Inspector's Tower, and actually probably a well. Get a couple of those going. Alright. Alright, farms are up, but we still have a shortage of people. Add a couple more houses in here. Now the other thing we can do is start to bolster our food production with fish and with hunting. So, are there any good spots where we can send out some fishermen? Oops, I want fishing quay. I can put a couple of them over there. A little spur out this way. Let's 
There we go. Fish on the way. All right. One more fishing quay up there. Fish is a nice, easy way for us to get some food going. And what I would like to do in order to cut down the travel time of some of this food is let's get a road going. Not a pretty road, but we can fix it later. Oh, hello, mouse. All right, we've got food coming. We are minting coins, but we are definitely losing money. We have not minted any stone just quite yet. Oh, here's what we need to do. We need to empty that stone. Send it to the trader. Alright, the other piece of agriculture that we need, we're going to need some hemp cloth. Start working on that. One, two, three. Alright, we're going to need to wait for our harvest to come in in order to capitalize on the food. The other thing we can do is maybe get a hunter's tent going. Since there is an abundance of pheasant around here. Alright, let's get a hunter up there and hopefully we can get capture some pheasant to eat. We've hit 500 people. It's a good sign. Got room for two more people. We definitely need more workers. Let's wait for that harvest to come in. Land food would be fine. Alright, vendor is out. Hmm. No festival this year. All right, we can add some entertainers. Heck, why don't I add a music school right there? We get some musicians. We've got cabbage and fish. We got plain food coming in. And now I'm going to keep it on just plain food as the desired quality. We don't need to go up that high that quick. Not until we can prove out our food production. I'm going to add one more hemp farm. in April. Alright, so that should begin here pretty quick. Look at that, we've got the peddler distributing goods. Getting those houses upgraded, we've got the buyer going back to the mill. Not doing too shabby. We'll put a tax office in here, but we'll turn it off for the time being. We're not going to have paper quite yet. And all out of food again. If you want to eat dragon meat, you'll have to go and get it yourself. Hey, keep your hands out of my food basket. 
Alright, we've got wheat is coming up next, and we've got some game meat and some fish coming in. That's a good sign. also sell paper. That gives us an idea of expanding our hemp production. We could also bolster hemp so that we could pump out some more paper. Thankfully the fish harvest is coming in. We've got good trays of fish. Might add another food shop here just to help even it out. Got wheat up there. Once we get our employment in check here, we should be in much better shape. Put another row of homes in. medicine on that side. We're definitely going to have to fix that. Alright. Got homes in there. Oh, you know what? This is not a good thing here. Let's clean that up. that up. There we go. Much better. Alright, food's being distributed. We just don't have much more. Hemp is coming in, which means we can put in a hemp shop. Get that rolling. Acrobats, so we have that coverage. All right. Let's make sure we're getting everything taken care of. 55 workers. We also need to start working on some of the weapons. I'm starting to build up our weapons industry. So let's continue building out our roads down here while the city grows a bit. We need to link up down there. I don't think we can actually put a mint that close, or a uh, steel furnace down there. I don't think there is enough space. Nope. So they're all going to have to be outside of that pit, which is okay. But we're also going to need some lumber because there are not a lot of trees nearby. So if we build some logging sheds up here, get them to work on 
timber first. We can build a warehouse out here to store timber. We can probably keep those forges going. So let's do just that. Let's continue our road up this way. We've got a little bit of unemployment, which is good. Uh, the other thing we should work on is ceramics. Since that will be next up on our list of things that we need to have for our city. Good clay pit spots. Happy New Year, yes, we can have a Happy New Year. Mm. I want to put another farmhouse in here. One, two, three, four. Alright, we hit a thousand there. Let's put in some more cabbage. And then I'm just going to build a little spur road here. Cut between the farms. And I think we should be able to build a clay pit somewhere in here. No? Alright, we'll put in the clay pit there. We just got to remember that we need inspector's towers on that front. Run up a couple kilns. And don't forget that inspector tower. There we go. Move that roadblock. I got a little industrial section buzzing down there. Okay, what else do we need? Put in that ceramic shop. We're getting some really nice houses up here. I'm a little worried about building too quick, though, just in case we have a food shortage. So I want to make sure we have enough farms. Alright, we've got kilns firing up. We've got food. Not a lot, but we have some. Alright, not a bad looking city so far. Room for a lot more people. Excellent. Got some fish coming in. The hunters out there collecting pheasants. The only thing I really want some more of is perhaps some fish. Just to help with some normalizing some of the... Uh, some of the food consumption here. I feel like once I've got my food taken care of, the rest of it uh, solves itself. Sorry, pheasant. All right, there we go. We got plenty of fishing quays going. Oh, there's that glitch with the stoneworks again. Listen to me, we could have used gunpowder to crack the stone. Put another stoneworks in there. All right, we've got some food, we've got some ceramics. I've got a much better feeling about this now. Got a good little economy going, but we've chewed through a lot of cash. Oh, fishing quay need inspectors towers. Let's take a look. Hazards? Yep, they, yes they do. All right, let's cap this off here, and that way the inspector can do a couple rounds. 
Alright, hemp and wheat. We've got plenty of food inbound. Like Alright, let's bump it up to plain food. Now that we've got enough. Alright, with that in mind, we can think about a little bit of expansion. Let's clear this out just a tad. Lots of hemp coming in, which is excellent. We definitely need that. Hemp cloth is coming in. I would like to make one paper maker for the time being. We have employees are needed. And we can also open up that tax office. Oh, we've got a mass exodus. What happened here? It looks like the uh, food shop ran out. That's what I was worried about, growing too big too fast. Oh yes, our ancestors. Uh, probably not very happy at this point. Not quite. Uh, we're going to have to do something quick, otherwise they are going to uh, get very angry at us very, very quickly. Usually I like to get, offer ceramics as a gift, because that seems to usually go over pretty well. tax office on that end. Alright, we've got more food inbound. We've got plain food. We're out of food. So hopefully we can cover this gap here. Otherwise the ancestors will get angry and cause plagues, and that's not a good thing. Alright, people are coming in, which is good. Those folks at the hemp farm are a bit odd, but if they keep me well supplied, how can I complain? Alright, we're making good progress toward our population milestone. Just need to make sure we keep our housing in check. We should have plenty of ceramics. Once we get our housing fixed. Happy New Year. We can have a Happy New Year. Alright. I want appetizing food. I'm not sure if I want to go down that route just yet. But we are balancing our employee budget much better this time around. Kilns are continuing to fire, which is good. And we still don't have enough really to make a pay homage yet. We've got good food coming in. Let's go back to that weapons conundrum that we had earlier. Or rather, that we still have. We still need to get wood for the steel furnaces. And this lumber area out here looks pretty nice for logging. I don't want to knock down all the trees, because that would defeat the purpose. So let's put... I'm just going to clear off a little bit of space here, close to the road. And since we do have some unemployment, which is good, let's start with the logging sheds. And then 
I want to put a warehouse right here. I want to accept wood. I'll accept steel, but I don't want any of this other stuff. Uh, weapons will it take. Alright, so we'll let the lumber piece build up a bit. Got a lot of unemployment, not a bad thing to have. Got 12% unemployment, that's a little high for my liking. Alright, let's see what we can do here about some of these furnaces. That is the ugliest looking intersection I've seen in a long time. Let's, let's see if we can cut that down just a bit there. There we go. Put inspector down there. Ah, there we go. We've got lumber coming out. Perfect. Actually, you know what? I can put the roadblock there. That'll prevent them, the inspector from walking too far away. Alright, hopefully we've got some ceramics and we can make some... ...pay tribute. All right, they're only neglected now. That's better. Got a little extra clay there, so we could probably fire up another kiln. To be honest, I would like to fire up some more hemp farms so we can start making more paper and exporting that paper for some extra strings of cash. Let's see this. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Six. Alright, so I need to be out here. Let's add in some hemp farms. That's true. Unfortunately, the land here isn't too bad when I look at it. I'm 65% fertile. Unfortunately, we're on this plateau, so no pumping water uphill, at least for this part. We could definitely do some irrigation down here, perhaps. But I'm kind of using that as my housing development. What's that other farm I could build? What can I build here? Oh, a silkworm shed. You know what? I don't think, did we? Nope, that is as far as those go. One, two, three. I want to boost that hemp production. Alright, our tax offices should be operating, which is good. 100% of, of the population is visited by the tax man. That's a great sign. With the extra hemp, we can go ahead and start pumping up the paper production also pay homage to our ancestors to keep them from bringing the wrath of the heavens upon us. Employees needed, not a bad thing. Alright, food is looking like it's in pretty good supply. How are we doing on the weapons front? Ooh, we've got lots of steel bars coming up. Let's go ahead and start working on that weapon production. Got enough wood to keep the forges going, which is good. Housing not too bad. I think they're we're in the middle of buying food. Yep, I see more food coming back.
bit of a population slump. There we go. Ah. As long as one and only one ancestor is above unhappy, they will not trigger disasters. Well, we'll do bet we'll do our best to keep them. Oh, angry. Oh, I'm just gonna try to move you down off that. Yeah, neglected. That's better. There we go. Pump up the food a bit. As long as we've got those two food sources, we can maintain our our food. Actually, what I'm going to do is create a food warehouse. If you've seen any of my other streams, you'll know that I like to do this every so often. It's particularly when I like to manage excess food. So what I'll do is I'll purposefully create a food warehouse because the buyers won't buy from it but it will be a, a good store for any excess that we have so that our uh, employees can continue to work elsewhere. Also helps us store all that in case we want to use it to pay homage to an ancestor. All right. Not too bad, we're doing well on our population goal. Got some racks of weapons flowing out. Also export paper. Once we start getting more paper, we can export that. And yeah, we need some more employees, though. There we go. Got room for more people to come on in. Now look, we've got a good amount of food there stored up. Let's keep it like that. Oh yes, we do have weaponsmiths. We've got them running full throttle. I don't think we've gotten... We're not going to get to 20 this year, but... We'll see what we can do. Okay. to work on our population a bit there. Now uh, the peddler's coming around. Okay, not too bad. There we go. I think it is time to build the temple complex. We can start work on that. First, we need to make sure we have a road out to where we want to build our temple complex. At least a road that is intact. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're going to need to clear a big patch of space for this. Oh, nope. Did not want to need to do that. Went all the way and deleted one of my fishing quays by mistake. Uh, I need to clear more land. There we go. Alright, that'll fit. Stacks of wooden carpenters. Logging sheds in. All right. Once I get the wood over there, we can continue on that. Seems like our tax offices are eating up all that paper like crazy. Unhappy. Uh oh. We need to keep our ancestrals happy. Contented. All right, that's better. Our 
We have some paper that's going to the warehouse now, perhaps. If that means all of our tax collecting offices are operating at full capacity. We've got a wheat harvest coming in. Let's start expanding a little bit. How about Chang'ang? I'll give them some small ceramics so we can see what they like. Got weapons coming up. Probably gonna invest in some military operations. Let's clear some of these trees here. Got lots of racks of weapons. Get an infantry fort. Also, just going to place a palace on the grounds here. That way, we can get our second military unit built. Is there a. Don't tell me this isn't big enough to put the palace on. Uh oh. I think I know what I did. Sorry, Administrative City. We're going to move you real quick. There we go. Oh. All right. You have to be working in order for me to place the fort. Now we can turn you off. Much better. No goods have arrived up there yet. I have to keep an eye out. Got a little bit of a military going on. There we go. Connect that road in. Alright, they don't need ceramics, but let's see what do they need. They do not need silk or hemp. Well, we could start producing silk. That we can do. Although we do need more workers first. And we have lots of hemp. Let's get another paper maker going. It looks like herbalist coverage is not what it once was. one in over there. Got plenty more housing. Well, let's go sell some of that paper. That'll clear that up. Alright, paper delivery men should be moving. New Year, we can have that. All right, we've hit our 2,000 milestone. All right, we almost produced 20 racks of weapons. I think we can do that this year. We do need to work on this temple complex, though. And we've got wood coming in. Excellent. We can continue work on the temple complex. Uh 
Uh-oh. This is not a result of your actions. That's not good. Alright, well. We're gonna have to rebuild our relationship with them. Alright. Clear out some of our own hemp. Well, if we can't trade stone, I don't really necessarily want it. It doesn't do me any good. We can shut that down. And honestly, we don't need all the paper either, then. Yeah, weapons manufacturing is doing good. Let's focus on that silk production. Economic decline. Ooh. The city isn't aff as affluent as it once was. Mulberry trees. There we are. Alright, that'll give us something to harvest, and we can also add some weavers. That can help us there. Uh oh, they cease have ceased contact. Like a turtle withdrawing into its shell. That's not good. Or falling off the face of the earth. All right, let's go and make sure that our ancestors are being taken care of. There we go. Using those ceramics as our way to do that. We're going to have to work on opening up trade pretty soon. Ah, something bad happened at the city. We'll have to find out when we win the mission. All right. Let's do some investigations here. I just gather some information from our some of our rival cities there and see if we can find a good trade partner to target next. All right, they're grateful for hemp. They are respectful. Let's see if we can get trade with them. Be a great way to dump some of that excess hemp. As our treasury starts to dwindle, we need to find another way to increase our exports. I don't think we can build more than one mint, can we? No. <laughs> I always try that every time. I don't know why I always do. Got lots of extra lumber. Can make our ancestors happier. Alright, we need laborers. some raw silk to process here soon.
And one to two more weaponsmiths. I could probably probably run another one or two. Got enough iron bars stacked up back there. Oh, trade opens up. Excellent. Add that to our industrial area down here, or I should say our commercial area. Clear off this mesa, this little area here, and we can add in some trading stations. We will sell hemp and silk. Although, I do want to make sure that we get some hemp. I'd like to keep ten of it in reserve. Well, that filled up quickly. Weavers are working. Ooh, they don't need ceramics or steel. They produce salt and millets. And they don't need weapons or fish. They produce spices and stone. Ooh. Both of them are pretty good. I might, uh, I might trade for the ceramics first. Let's give them a gift of ceramics. Oh yeah, don't worry, I've got two paper makers on so far. Probably don't need nearly as much since we're not trading paper. And we've even got some in reserve. Oh, we have hit our limit on housing. So if we want to keep expanding, we're either going to have to go for appetizing food, or we're going to just have to be content with what our population is. Going to add a couple more houses in here. that out. We need to trade it. That's good money sitting right there. Can have a happy new year. Alright, so production's good. Let's check on the monument. We need more wood and more carpenters. Our military is all caught up. Excellent. All right. Military's up. Mining is going full of ore. Let's make sure our ancestors are happy. Ooh, a festival. You three-headed dog. Give me eight bolts of silk. Uh, within ten months. I, Da, da Wan, have spoken. I'm not sure if a three-headed dog is an insult or a compliment, but I'm going to take it it's an insult. Alright, so, we're not going to be able to sell the silk because we're going to need to collect some of that. Sorry. We need to hold on to that for a moment. Silk. We need to get that, and I need ten bolts of silk.
Employees needed, okay. I think I've got two bolts already. I've got another one loaded up. Alright. Our ancestors are happy. Got a little bit of room for growth. There's the lumber. And that means we should have our monument getting worked on here very shortly. else we need in the world. They don't need fish or weapons. We could provide some weapons. Send a spy up there to gather some information. continue to branch out here and make more silk. Although, my time on this plateau is going to end here as I'm running out of land. Oh, that's true. I guess I could send an emissary to find out. Six months to comply, they need eight bolts of silk. Listen, I wasn't joking when I told you you send me the eight bolts of silk for my great festival for New Wa. Send these items within six months, or I might find some way to make your life miserable. Alright, we have three in storage. Well, we don't want to make anyone's life miserable. We've got 300 silk. Harvest is coming in. Hopefully we'll be able to produce enough. Throw another weaver in there. Oh boy, unemployment is skyrocketing. 12%. Let's cut that down a little bit. Send another gift of weapons. Try to work on them a little bit. Not being able to sell silk really stinks now that we're producing it. Now we can also send another gift of ceramics, perhaps. Well, maybe we'll wait till we get a few more. Send a big gift. Alright, weavers are running good. Oh, they're still apathetic towards us. silk do we have? Still only three. Hopefully once we get some of the silk produced we'll be able to fill that quickly. I 
I see some more built bolts coming in. That's five. We need three more. And we'll be able to close out on that request. There's another one. At six, we need two more. I'm grateful for weapons. Respectful. Let's get trade going. Just need to wait for more of that silk to come through. We have two months to do it. Come on, Silk. Sixty percent. Oh, somebody just dropped one. Three percent. Ninety-four percent. All right. We should be able to make meet it. We have seven. Just need one more. I think we might have enough. Dispatch the goods. Whew, with one month to spare. Go back to selling silk. Let's get this treasury back up and running. Agreeable. Excellent. Let's open trade. G does not need wood or stone. Boy, oh boy, have I got wood for you. Alright, we've got plenty of food. We've got pretty well balanced out here. We've got enough weapons to shake a stick at. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Need five trading partners. Oh, I guess the original one still counts as one. Oh no, it doesn't. They're not trading. So somebody else must appear on the map, because there's only one, two, three, four active cities. what we could do is we could even look at building some fancy homes. We've got all these weapons, we might as well get geared up. Chang Ang regards us more highly, thank you. We'll have a happy new year. They are respectful, that's good. Let's work on our fancy homes down here. We may need to move a mill or build one down here, just because I'm not sure if we're going to be able to reach all the way up to that original mill. That's exactly what I was hoping to avoid, just some, another walker run, randomly going down there and getting trapped. Uh-oh, trade with Chang Eng shuts down. And trade with Lang Zhuo opens up, okay. This is an interesting one here. Alright, so now they're shutting down, so stop selling hemp. Oh, there goes one avenue of potential revenue. We can sell weapons, that's for sure. We can definitely get some weapons out of here. Weapons sell for a good price. Uh, 
Unfortunately, now I have nowhere to go with the hemp. Oh, someone's been discovered. Alright, we've got a new trading partner. And we can export some of those ceramics. Something happened in Chang'e in 192 CE that you'll find about when you win the mission. Ah, okay. Let's go sell that ceramics. Do we have extra steel? No. Fortunately not, but... Ceramics? We can crank that out of here like... Uh-oh, we've got a little bit of disease going on. That doesn't seem to be too bad. But if we can balance this budget and we can import some spices, that would be great. Ah! What unfortunate news, your rival has conquered G, one of your cherished allies. Severed all normal contact between us and G. Well, there goes that idea. Let's see how they like cabbage. Give them a small little gift. Hoping we get some racks of weapons soon. doing good. Ah, Soso conquered G and put down the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Ah, that makes sense. Let's take a look at our monument. What do we need? More carpenters. Send in the carpenter. Oh, we've definitely got the 20 racks of weapons in here. I'd like to trade 20 racks of weapons in the air. That would be good. Uh-oh. Have we run out of room in the warehouse? I think we might be. We can accept that silk. to uh, give him a gift and see if we can turn him around a bit. A lot of lumber coming in. Wish we had a way to get rid of some of it. There we go. We've got some racks of weapons being sold. Demands weapons. Oh, well, we can do that. Dispatch the weapons now. Thankfully, we've been bolstering our weapons production, so we can meet that one right away. We could also produce more fish if we had the ability to do so. We've got some unemployment. Let's see if we can find some good spot along a uh, good spot along the water here to put in a bunch of fishing quays. Actually, we could. Could run a bunch of them along here. Or along here, too. Although getting over there might be a bit of a challenge. Now, let's see. Build along the coast here, we could rack up some fish. And eh, maybe not as many as I thought. 
over here you could put in a couple. Uh oh, collapsed building. Oh, no. That was me neglecting that. I had started on that. Ooh, they regard us more highly. That's good. Before we get too far engrossed in what we're doing, let's make sure we build an inspector's tower here. Oh, we can't even put in advanced housing yet. Uh, well, we'll just leave that there for the time being. Oh, the monument's making progress. We're just waiting on lumber. Lumber should be coming in here pretty soon. In fact, we've got plenty of wood. Chang ain't grateful for silk. Let's open that trade back up. They don't need weapons or stone. Let's give them weapons. And let's turn on the stoneworks again. Stone. All right, do we have any lumber coming in here? Yep, yes we do. See where he's going. He should be going to the monument. Oh, going to warehouse. Warehouse. Oh, temple complex. That's better. All right. It feels like I've been pushing this low up here all day. The higher I go, the harder I get. All right. Economy's improving. We've got a ton of raw silk. Love to get Chang Ang back on the map. That way we can get back to trading. through that. Yeah, someone should buy silk. Chang Ang buys silk. I think that might be it. We can get trade back open with them. That would be a very lucrative business for us. Grateful for weapons. Happy New Year. Agreeable. Open trade. Perfect. clear up some stuff in the warehouse here. Get rid of some of the paper. Yep, there's our lumber. And there's our carpenter. Progress is being made. We just need to work on those last couple trading partners. How about G? What do you need? Lumber? I think we have some in reserve. Lumber and stone. Oh, I guess they're closest to the stoneworks. Ah, trade with Chang Ang has opened up. That's good. Sell that hemp and silk. Let's get it out of here. Goes the line of silk merchants. Oh, that's true, we can cut down on their labor, the laborers camp. Got emissaries heading out. Whoa! What happened to my palace?
Could have sworn I had one. All right, with that silk coming in, that should really help our cause. Should be able to make some good money off of that. They buy a lot of silk. Twelve is pretty good. Sent one out there. Now we gotta wait and see. We can get another good block of stone coming up here. Oh, festival of crates of ceramics. All right, dispatch now. We can do that. Make them a little bit more happy with us. Monuments coming along. We should be able to get to G here in just a moment. See, Zim and Cells. Ooh, if we can get a little bit of salt, I would feel okay about up in the food limit a bit here. I want a ton of salt. We can go one better. We'll set the max at appetizing. We'll see if we can go get it. Does anyone buy paper? I think we had it in the original. I think that was Louis Lang there. Yeah, no one else is getting paper. All right, trade opens up. G is grateful for wood. Excellent. Sell stone and weapons. How much stone do we have? 1400. We still need a little more. It's a monument need. More wood, more carpenters. And yeah, we've got wood on the way. You know what might be helpful is if we actually opened up this road up here, we could get to that tip. Oh, regard us more highly, thank you. We could get this street rolling. It's probably a faster route to the temple complex from where our lumber is being manufactured. Let's clean up this road. be able to get everything taken care of here. Maybe we can actually use some of this road infrastructure that was left behind nicely for us. Okay. You have to use the shovel a lot in my campaigns. <laughs> that is very true. It does take a little bit of clearing. Let's see. Clear up some of these trees, clear up the road. One last tree. I think that gives us a much clearer path then to getting our lumber over to where it needs to be instead of having to walk all the way down here and around and up and through. I think they can just take this overland pass for the most part. Hopefully that'll speed up the time. Ooh, we've got we've got some fancy homes already. Look at that. We've got a lot of fancy homes. Sorry. Put in a shrine there. We know where the fancy side of town is going to be. Alright, and the last thing they're going to need is tea from a peddler. Which I don't think we have a way to get tea just quite yet, so... 
we'll keep that in mind. Our treasury is growing much better. Our ancestors don't want to kill us. Let's send that last gift of stone to G. Maybe we send him a big one there. We'll let that emissary get underway and then send out a trade request thereafter. Some more stoneworks going. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth trying to keep that house happy. You just put an acupuncture stall there and continue to evolve, we are going to have a lot of room for more people. Alright. Let's check on our temple complex. One slab of clay and a ceramics expert. do have some clay in stock. Let's see if we've got any that's already been dispatched. Looks like it. Got 50 clay inbound. Let's send our trade request to G now that we've got an emissary on the way. Right, militarily, we're inferior to a lot of these folks, so we're going to have to play nicely for the time being. Good news is our economy is booming, our budget in terms of labors is fairly balanced. Got plenty to trade. We could even import food if we so chose to. Which honestly, we might buy a little bit. just to help round out some of our foodstuffs. Grateful for stone, happy new year, excellent. Throw in another kiln there for some ceramics, we can pump that out. There's the clay. Just gonna work on my labor camps here just so we can knock unemployment down a hair. Dispatch the weapons. Alright, we can do that. Anyone buy wood? Oh, G buys wood. We've got. Do we have military units? In fact, we do have military units placed and fully trained. So we've got the maximum number we can get because no, no noble housing, unfortunately. Trade with G opens up. Excellent. That's the last of our trading. Oh, it looks like they are a Quay trading. Oh, let's see, where do I want to put this one? Oh, we hit 3,000 people, so we've certainly exceeded our goal. Gotta find a spot along the river. There we go. 
actually we can just probably knock that roadblock there and extend it one little tad. Wood and stone. Perfect. Okay. Drought! Uh-oh. That's not good. Apparently our fields are a little drier than normal. Need more clay. Clay's on the way. Alright, let's go ahead and speed this up just a little bit. Stacks of wood to arrive. Oh, the source is too distant. Oh. There we go. Happy New Year. That is a lot of masons. So let's see what that last one was. G suffers famine. Okay. They need 16 baskets of cabbage. Let's go back and drop this back down. Alright, so cabbage. I need to get cabbage. And I need 16 baskets of it. There's someone I don't like. My cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. We'll open up some silk there. That way we can at least store it in the warehouse. Alright, we need to fix our ancestors here a bit. Paper, there we go. Alright, 16 cabbage still. I only have 400. And I don't know that we're going to get cabbage in time. It's just going into production right now. Mason's working, but probably use some more stone coming up. There we go. More stone on the way. Ah, okay. Hopefully we can get to that in time. In the meantime, we'll continue to import food so that we can offset what we need to hold for cabbage. The merchant treats us like we're barbarians from the north. need to do is build a bit of a residential wall here it's just to keep some of the unpleasantries out from up there hopefully that cabbage comes in on time I should quit this job and find work around pretty women <laughs> Oh, the Masons have kind of a funny dialogue. Alright, Masons are working. Let's 
ceramics too distant. Uh oh. I know what's happened. We have too much raw silk. It's flooding our warehouses. Reduce that raw silk down to ten. We need to check the cabbage. It's going to be close. Cabbage harvest is coming in. Right now I'm just accepting cabbage until we can clear until we can clear that request cuz it's going to be close. should give us enough that we can dispatch the goods. Just in time, too. Well, I have nowhere else to go with the silk, so I guess we can just store it in the trading station for now. Better than taking up warehouse room. Happy New Year? Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, special gifts. Game eat stores and a wonderful tiger. Oh boy. Uh, we need to actually have the palace working, otherwise that tiger is going to escape. And we have a lot of workers needed all of a sudden here. bit of a population bubble. Land food. We should have plenty of food. Ah, there we go. G regards us more highly. Just a little bit more stone and the masons are still working. Plenty of stone. I think I see some heading up there right now. Feels like I've been pushing this low. Well, they're going to the trading quay. Higher I go, the harder it get. Oh, there we go. The peddler's coming by. Everything's working out better. I do have salt on the import list. We could also get spices too if we needed it. Right now, I only have the food set to appetizing food. Ah, temple complex. Alright, perfect. Our mason working out here, hopefully. My talents are required at the construction site. Yeah, let's see. Right now, I don't want to have too much of this, so I'm going to limit that to three since we're importing it. Same with millet, we'll limit that to three. Same with rice, we'll limit that to three. And we should have plenty of salt. Make sure that we've got enough stored up in there to keep our food supply.
transfer some cabbage over. Oh, that's true. Come in groups of four. Now for right now, I think it might be okay, because it leaves me with a little bit of extra wiggle room. I noticed that we're running out of food, or food isn't being purchased properly. I think it's just they're buying food, constantly running out. I might need to build another market square to help service some of this. That might help be an answer. That way we can at least, uh... Oh. I was afraid that that might happen. Oh, that stinks. Alright, let's go back down here and see if we can fix this... ...little bit of an issue we have with a lack of market squares. pump another market square in here. Might be able to keep, help take some of the pressure off of our one market. Particularly when they go to buy goods. Alright, more masons heading in. Almost done. All right, there we are. Grand Temple Complex complete, which means we just need to hold for a month, which we have. All right. Surely Tenzou embodies the peace and prosperity desired by the Han court. Never before have the roads and paths of Tongguan seen such a, a multitude of traders and travelers. However, elsewhere there is trouble. Emperor Ling died in 189 CE. His death sparked the uprising. Ah, that's why they ceased contact. But it is crushed by General Dong Zhao. In 190, Dong Zhao took Jian, the new boy emperor, into custody and relocated the imperial capital to Chang'ang. Okay, explains why they broke uh, contact with us. But before leaving, he ordered his soldiers to plunder the city, and now it lies in ruins. Hmm, looks like karma came full circle two years later when he was assaulted by a subordinate in Chang'ang. Meanwhile, your ally, Soso, has grown the city into a mighty warlord. Uh, let's see, from his new base, he led his army north and captured Ji in 192. Okay, that explains that impact. Thus ending the Yellow Turban Rebellion. It is clear that the independent warlords are now wielding great power in the Middle Kingdom. Has the collapse of the Han Dynasty already come? 